lot of strong feelings about this, so let's continue the discussion on the latest fallout following the school massacre with the fathers of two of the victims. Joining us now live from Parkland are Ryan Petty, the father of 14-year-old Elena, and Max Schachter, the father of 14-year-old Alex. Thank you both so much for joining us. We appreciate having you here. Let's start with a new development you, now about the three administrators suing to get their jobs back. Mr. Schachter, to you, what is your reaction? We've, had, we've wanted accountability since February 14th, and the district is finally doing an investigation with the information they've received from the MSD Commission, and I expect that to be a thorough investigation. I'm glad we're finally having an accountability, and uh, the administrators and the staff that did not do their jobs and that were there that day and that caused uh, the deaths of my daughter and 16, uh, my, my son and 16 other victims uh, needs to happen as soon as possible. Well, Mr. Petty, let me ask you this question. How do you respond to the criticism that we heard during the walkout and we've heard from others that the school is losing 21 years of combined experience and that these administrators were wrongfully removed because we don't know exactly what policies they violated? Look, um, I call it manufactured outrage. I mean, the 21 years of experience did nothing to prevent what happened to, to my daughter and 16 others uh, on February 14th. So I'll trade uh, people that will act and follow policy over experience uh, any day of the week. What I heard just a few moments ago from Lisa Maxwell, this is, of course, there's emotion involved here. I lost my 14-year-old daughter senselessly, but the facts were established at the, the last MSD commission. There were violations of school policy. There were clear violations of school policy, and it's been nine months we've been waiting for the district to take action, and they finally did that this week, and we applaud that action. Well, Principal Thompson says they did everything they could do on the day of the shooting and that hindsight is 2020, that no one could have really seen this coming. Mr. Schachter, do you think that everyone did everything they could at the school? 17 people are dead. There were systematic failures at that school. I wake up every day thinking about my little boy missing him, and I also do everything I can to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We know the next murderer is out there. We know the next weapon that he's going to use is out there. I'm thinking about this. I expect the principal at that school to be the first thing on his mind. Because if those kids do not go home to their parents every day, we have failed. And for us to find out what happened at that school, that's going to give us the answers out of how we can prevent this in the future. I expect everybody, every leader, that's the number one thing that should be on their mind every day. Well, I, I would like to know, uh, first of all, from Mr. Petty, what was your reaction to the principal's uh, statement when he talked to the kids and uh, how disappointed he was by these reassignments. Again, I, it, I, I'm unclear. It, it appears that the principal was instigating this. Um, again, I call it manufactured outrage. Um, there were violations uh, of school board policy. As Mr. Schachter said, the first thing on this principal's mind every day should be the safety and security of of not only the students but the teachers in that school. The teachers and the students were left vulnerable because the administrative staff at MSD had warnings about the shooter. They were made aware. They were warned by students and faculty and they failed to take action. So this idea that uh, this couldn't have been prevented or even the idea that everything uh, was done perfectly on, on, on 214, look, gates were left open. Code red wasn't called for three minutes and 16 seconds. Bathrooms were locked uh, in a violation of school policy. I can go on and on and on about violations of school policy. Now, those facts were clearly established at the MSD commission. And again, I applaud the district for taking the action necessary to investigate what happened and hold those that failed to follow school policy accountable. So let me ask you, do you think there should be more personnel changes uh, down the pike? And who do you think 
who else should go if, if the answer is yes? Look, this was a failure of leadership uh, at multiple levels. So, yes, I believe this is just the beginning uh, of the investigations that need to happen here. But clearly there needs to be a change in culture throughout the district. Uh, as Mr. Schachter said, if we don't, if these kids don't come home, if our teachers don't come home at the end of the day, nothing else matters. So this has to be first and foremost uh, on the minds of every administrator, and it should be part of what every leader uh, in this district is focused on. Uh, Mr. You Schachter, know, uh, I'll give you the last word. Do you think that the principal should be removed? Do you think that the uh, superintendent of schools uh, job should be in jeopardy? You know, when you look at that video uh, from yesterday, it looks like the children are being used as pawns to, uh, uh, you know, go after some agenda of the leader of that school. The, the priority should be making sure the children and the teachers are able to heal, not using them uh, for some other purpose. That's the number one thing that should go on. All those children, those teachers have been through a tremendous trauma. That's the only thing that should be uh, uh, every, everybody's concerned and making sure this doesn't happen again. But if you don't pay attention, and he said that he has refused to watch the commission meetings, if you don't find out what happened at that school and correct all those failures, this is going to happen again. That's why Ryan and I are on that committee. We don't want to hear how our children were murdered on February 14th, but we're doing it every day, and I expect the leaders responsible for the safety and security of our children to do the same exact thing. Okay, Max Schachter and Ryan Petty, thank you both gentlemen for joining us here live from Parkland. Thank you. Thank you.